Chelsea's player manager, Ruud Hullet, made his first home start of the season in the league. And it was he who gave his team the lead on 27 minutes after Mark Hughes had hit a post. Spurs got a foothold over for a while and equalised five minutes from half-time. Chelsea goalkeeper Kevin Hitchcock came for but didn't collect Alan Nielsen's long throw and Chris Armstrong came for his fifth of the season. But Chelsea soon resumed control and when Dan Petrescu's run was illegally haunted by Sol Campbell early in the second half, referee Roger Dilts was well placed to award the penalty. When Spurs' protest finally subsided, David Lee stepped up to restore Chelsea's lead, despite Ian Walker's valiant attempt in the Tottenham goal. The day, though, was to end unhappily for Lee, later carried off with a broken leg. Chelsea were rampant by now, though. Scott Minto so nearly made it three goals in successive games. But his team was certainly well on top by the end, and they rounded off a comprehensive win with another goal late on. Gianluca Viali's cross did in by his compatriot, Roberto Di Matteo. You know, what I said already before, that Metro Harding had a dream. I hope that we can come very close to that dream and, uh, and do something about it. And uh, the North Stand is already one piece of the, of the puzzle of that dream. And we hope just to put all the pieces on the right, on the right place.